Hello and welcome to Football Daily, where today we're looking at 10 players rejected by Man United who went on to huge success at other clubs. 10. Patrice Evra At number 10, it's Patrice Evra. The left-back enjoyed eight years at Old Trafford, winning the Premier League five times and the Champions League. But after 379 appearances for the Red Devils, the club made moves to replace him in 2014, believing that the 33-year-old was in decline. Blint, Rojo and Shaw all arrived in Manchester, but to the surprise of many, Juventus offered Evra a way out. The Frenchman won the Coppa Italia and Serie A in his first season, narrowly missing out on a treble when the old lady lost to Barcelona in the Champions League final. But a second title followed, and in 2016, Evra signed a one-year contract extension, a deal that will keep him in Turin until he's 36. 9. Nani When Nani went out on loan in 2014, no one was surprised. The Portuguese had stagnated after seven years with the Red Devils, making just 11 league appearances the previous season under the wayward regime of David Moyes. So he jumped at the chance to rejoin Sporting Lisbon, playing 38 games and scoring 12 goals in all competitions, his best season ever. The campaign ended with Nani scoring in the penalty shootout in the Portuguese Cup final, bringing Sporting their first trophy since 2008. United shipped him out to Fenerbahce for 6 million euros, where Nani once again netted 12 times and reached a century of international caps, leading Valencia to pick him up in 2016. They paid 8.5 million euros for the Euro 2016 champion, who is, unbelievably, only 29. 8. Danny Drinkwater Manchester-born Danny Drinkwater came through the club's academy, but never made a first-team appearance and instead found himself loaned out four times. He played for Huddersfield down in the third tier and failed to establish himself at Cardiff and Watford before Leicester snapped him up in 2012 for €900,000. He quickly became a regular in midfield for the Foxes and was named in the Championship Team of the Year in 2013-14, as Leicester topped the division and returned to the Premier League. And two years later, Drinkwater played a central role in one of the greatest sporting stories ever, as Leicester's shoestring squad defied the odds to win the Premier League title, while United finished fifth. 7. Diego Forlan Plucked out of his native Uruguay when he was 22, Forlan struggled to start at United over Ruud van Nistelrooy. In four years, the striker managed just 17 goals, but did earn a Premier League winner's medal in 2003. Villarreal took him off United's hands, and Forlan scored 25 in his first year in La Liga, making him top scorer over Eto and the Brazilian Ronaldo. Even greater success followed with Atletico Madrid, where he once again won the Golden Boot with 32 goals in 08-09. In 2010, he lifted the Europa League trophy and was named best player at the World Cup, and Uruguay's second most capped player ever became a Copa America winner in 2011. Not bad for a flop. 6. Shinji Kagawa Fresh off back-to-back -back Bundesliga wins with Borussia Dortmund, Shinji Kagawa switched to United for 16 million euros and became the first Japanese player to win the Premier League. However, despite hitting a hat-trick against Norwich, Kagawa never convinced Ferguson or Moyes and returned to the Westfalenstadion after two years away for half the fee United paid. Shorn of confidence at first, the arrival of Thomas Tuchel prompted a renaissance for Kagawa as the midfielder scored 19 and assisted 23 over the next two years in Germany and his performances were honoured with inclusion in the 2015-16 Bundesliga team of the season. Meanwhile, he has passed 80 caps for the Japan national team with an astonishing 27 goals from the midfield. 5. Javier Hernandez Mexico international Hernandez followed in his father and grandfather's footsteps by playing for his country, and he looked like a star when he joined Man United in 2010, netting 20 in his first season. But the forward was mainly used off the bench, and United's weird treatment of Hernandez peaked in 2014, when they decided he wasn't good enough for their Europa League campaign, and he instead found himself playing on loan for the Champions League holders, Real Madrid. A year on, he sealed a 12 million euro move away to Bayer Leverkusen, where he scored 26 in all competitions and was linked with Arsenal and Juventus. Meanwhile, United managed only 49 goals in the Prem, just one more than 17th place Sunderland. 4. Yapstam Even Alex Ferguson said 
picked up in the case of Dutch powerhouse Jaap Stam. The centre-back had been dominant in the Red Devils' backline for three years by 2001, winning the league twice and the 1999 Champions League. But Ferguson was convinced that Stam had lost a step after an Achilles injury. Stam's tackle numbers had also declined, so the Scot packed him off to Italy, where the defender featured for Lazio and Milan. It turned out he was tackling less because he was intercepting more, and he kept Costa Curta out of the team as the Rossoneri just missed out on the Champions League triumph in 2005 at the hands of United's great rivals, Liverpool. Ferguson later wrote that selling Stam was his biggest mistake as a coach. 3. Angel Di Maria United fans couldn't contain their excitement when incoming coach Louis van Gaal brought in Angel Di Maria for a British record 75 million euros in 2014. The Argentinian had just won the Champions League with Real Madrid, while the Dutchman had taken a ropey Netherlands to third place at the World Cup. But Van Gaal's safety-first philosophy neutered the high-risk game which made Di Maria so devastating for Los Blancos, benching him despite his 10 league assists and offloading him to PSG for 63 million euros after one season. Di Maria was a man possessed as he set a league earned assist record with 18, adding 15 goals to win the double and confirming his status as one of Europe's best players and the size of United's mistake. 2. Gerard Piquet When 17-year-old Piquet arrived at United in 2004, it was unthinkable for him to get into the first team. The next few years saw an unbeatable partnership between Rio Ferdinand and Nemanja Vidic. And though Piquet described Alex Ferguson as like a father, he didn't get any special treatment, going out on loan to Zaragoza and finding his playing time limited to cup runouts. Piquet won the Champions League in his final season at United, and the next year was lifting the cup again, this time with Barcelona. The Catalans had paid just 5 million euros for his services, and the Spaniard has won 25 trophies since, including the World Cup, Euro 2012 and six domestic titles. But is he really better than Phil Jones? Thought not. 1. Paul Pogba OK, Pogba may not have the trophy cabinet of PK yet, nor the longevity of Evra, but it's hard to imagine a bigger screw-up than his departure from Manchester in 2012. Finding himself behind Park Ji-sung and even right-back Raphael for a spot in the midfield, Pogba packed his bags and left for Juventus, with United not even making 1 million euros in compensation. Since then, the nightmare has worsened as Pogba has established himself as one of the best players in the world at the age of 23. Capable of spectacular goals, defensive tenacity and everything in between, Pogba is the complete midfielder and has attracted interest from every major club in Europe. And with the mooted value of the Frenchman possibly topping a world record 120 million euros, even United owners, the Glazers, will be regretting this one. So those are our top 10 Man United rejects, but who should we have included and who shouldn't have made the cut? Let us know in the comments below. Now if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to check out our Rags to Riches 11. These are guys who grew up in poverty to reach the pinnacle of the world game. And as ever, don't forget to like and subscribe.